EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. EA Sports is in the gang, baby. Boomer Sooner. bundle up because it's going to be a chilly one for tonight's game between the UCLA Bruins and the UNLV Rebels. And here come the Rebels. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet along with you. The excitement's building up for the start of this bowl game and it looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. The Rebels are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. UCLA comes into this one with a good passing attack, and they have a difference maker lining up at wide receiver. In fact, Lee, I think he's one of the best receivers in all of college football. I was just about to say that, but forget about it. UNLV is going to get manhandled up front in this one. That offensive line is just too big, too talented, and too good. And they're going to have a huge game opening up those holes for the running backs. This one could get ugly. This one away. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number 21. Has it at the five. <laughs> They'll go to work at the 19-yard line. play fake. Steps up. Throws this one out to the left. Dropped by the wideout. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on their own 19. The Rebels line up in an I formation. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 19. UCLA lines up with five defensive backs. Over the middle. And they make the stop. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First, first and ten. Ball on their own 39. The Rebels go with the I formation. They'll throw on first down. Looking, under pressure. Aaron and out long. He comes up with a jump ball. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Hey! 
They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And he's tackled. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down and five to go, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and two. Ball on the 14. They come out in a goal line set. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Throws. It falls incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. Fourth and two. Ball on the 14-yard line. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. The kick is up. And it's through the uprights. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. UNLV is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 21 fields it at the three. They'll set up shot at the 23 yard line. The Bruins line up with three wide. Here's the give. And he's taken down. A pickup of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 27. The Rebels bring in their dive package. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Third and five. Ball on the 28. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's got it. He's got a lot of green. And that tackle's going to save him six. And on that last pass, he just went over the 1,500-yard mark on the year. First it's first and ten. and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number 21 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Throws this one out to the right. His receiver has it. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First, first and 10. ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out in a nickel. He'll get the call again. And down he goes. Six yards on the carry. It's second down and four to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Bruins go with the I formation. Toss. Defense running them down. It looks like this.
this defense has put up some very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. That combination means one thing for the offenses. Nightmare. Lynn, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can even get past the 50, let alone find the end zone. The field goal unit takes the field, and they'll look to tie this one up. It's up. And it splits the uprights. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Number seven, ready to kick. He kicks it. Number 24, has it at the five. There's a missed tackle. And we got an injured player on the field. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to take any chances after a blow to the head like that. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. First and 10. Number 10, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And he can't hang on to it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. His receiver has it. And he's tackled. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. First and ten, ball on the 48. And he's tackled. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 47, on the number 10, yard. the lone back. Yeah. Hot. Hot. <laughs> They'll bring him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 45. Number 10 is the single setback. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 16 boots it way up there. Number 22 signals for a fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 12-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. UCLA sets up in the eye. They hand it off. And down he goes. That'll be a gain of five. Second 
Second down and five. Ball on their own 17. On the ground with the tailback. Jake's off a tackle. Tackle. A gain of one. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 18. The Bruin line up in high formation. He laterals the ball. And they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Punts the ball away. Number 21 takes it at the 45. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. First and 10, ball on their own 46. First and 10. UCLA brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looks, wants the middle. They'll bring him down. They got a few yards on that pass. Yeah, we talked about how the run will open up the passing game, but some teams like to use their intermediate passing game to open up the run. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Spins up the field. And they make the stop. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. First and 10, ball on the 43. And he's taken down. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Right. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Back to pass. Short toss. And it's caught. Brought down. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Third down and four coming up on this one. This is the fifth play of this drive. UNLV will line up in a jumbo set here. Pullback on the inside give. And they make the stop. And it looks like he got the first down. I'll tell you what, Brad, that is very close. I didn't think he was going to make it there, Coach. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. I thought he was stopped short, too. This kid shows some real determination on that run. It's first and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Rebels go with the eye formation. They go with the run. They'll bring him down. Gain of two. UNLV takes a timeout. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Rebels line up in an I formation. Pitch left. Juke move. Brought down. And he busts a big one on this defense. The way this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. It's first and 10, ball on the 22-yard line. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They lose four there. UNLV calls a timeout. Second down, 14 coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. 
He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. The ball is tipped. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Third and so another third down upcoming for the offense. They line up in an eye. Drops back to pass. Throws a lob pass out to the left. They'll drop him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. They'll try to make this a field goal game. He gets it up. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Under heavy pressure. Across the middle. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28. UCLA comes out with two tight ends. They hand it off. And he's tackled. Nothing going on that one. Third and ten. Ball on their own 28. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. We should have a return on this one. Number 21 takes it at the eight. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 23. First and 10. Back to pass. Across the middle. It's dropped. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Across the middle, incomplete. That ball was off the mark, guys. Whoa, 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 let's get back to basics. Hey, coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk, we almost caught that one. Third down and 10 coming up, ball in the 23. UCLA lines up in a double tight set. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Across the middle. Finds his receiver. And he's taken down. And that pass and catch gives him a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First it's first and 10. and 10. Ball on the 33. UCLA goes with the ace set here. Play action, wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. So it's second and 10, ball on their own 33. They line up in an eye. 
Pitch is right. Sheds that one. Tackle. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Rebels line up in a nickel back. He's going right. They connect again. And they make the stop. Oh, my, that long game gives them a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. UCLA lines up with three receivers. Looks, rolls to the left. Wants to throw outside. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Second and 10, and this is the eighth play of the drive. The Rebels bring in their dive package. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. Got him again. The 10. Touchdown, UCLA. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. And he tacks on the extra points. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 24 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 20. The Rebels come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. He put a little something extra on that throw, and the receiver mishandled it. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20. Ground, right side and they hit him in the backfield and they back up three yards on that play third down 13 ball on their own 17 they line up in an eye he drops back looking just throws this one away now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 16 gets it off. Gets a tackler. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. 
They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. And down he goes. About eight yards there. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 41. Number 21 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They go with a toss. He spins. And he's taken down. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Steps up. He's looking. And he throws it away. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 29. They come out with a big set. And they make the stop. They get five yards on the play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 21 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They go with the option. He's going to take off. Brought down. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. Lines up, hoping to extend the lead and make it a two-score game. It's up. And it's good. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. UCLA is ready to kick it away. Number 24 and number 21 back deep to return. He kicks it. Number 24 takes it at the four. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. They'll set up shop at the 25-yard line. UNLV comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25. The Bruins line up in a nickel back. handoff and he stopped behind the line and the defense just swarmed over him on that one yeah they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance third and 11 ball on their own 24 the Bruins bring in their dime package back to pass he lobs it out to the left side Complete, brought down in the open field. That's gonna bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Fourth and 10, ball on the 25 yard run. Number 16, set to punt. Number 16 gets it off. Number 87 fields it at the 42. Inside.
inside the 30. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 27. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is UCLA 13, UNLV 3. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Third and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Number 21 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. And he got it. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. UCLA ready to kick this one off. Number 21 and number 24 set to return. Kicks it deep. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. Comes off the tackler. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Complete at the 40. Across midfield at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, UNLV. Guys, how fast is this kid? Well, it's pretty simple. You can see it right there. Nobody on the field can stay with him. This field, I don't think anybody in the country can keep up with this guy. He's out there playing. Catch me if you can. And he tacks on the extra point. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, UCLA 16, UNLV 10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. UNLV is lined up for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 21 fields it at the nine. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. First 
The Bruin come out in a two tight end set. On the ground with a tailback. A five yard pickup for the tailback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 28. UCLA goes with the ace set here. He'll get it again. He's got a lot of green. Ball is loose. Fumble. Number 55 recovers a loose ball. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Flip it on the outlets. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. 38 yard line. Number 10 lines up as a single back. Little handoff, little shake and bake move. And down he goes. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. One man backfield. Back to pass. Down the middle. And it's incomplete. He overshot his halfback that time. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Nice play fake. He's going left. And got him complete. Knocked out of bounds. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. They need a conversion here. Tries to shoot, and they make the stop. And they kept it on the ground, and that gives them the first. Well, this is a situation we have to rely on the offensive line. Great execution up front. They've got just enough for the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. They go with a run. Reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. And they hit him in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. The Rebels line up in a goal line formation. And we're all tied up. They get the short run for the touchdown. Yeah, it was a short distance, but he still had to work hard to get into the end zone. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary.
UNLV lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 21 fields it at the two. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll, They'll take over, over at the 20. The Bruins go with the eye formation. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it, you just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. Third and 10. Ball on the 20. The Bruins come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Across the middle. His receiver has it. They'll bring him down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. That's totally a moving back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. The Bruins go with the I formation. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, throws to the middle, brought down. And that's a 1,000 yards for the year. This guy deserves a pat on the back. Nice accomplishment for that young man. The Bruin line up in an I formation, looks, throws it to the outside. And they push him out, a five-yard gain. And it looks like we have our Old Spice players of the game. They line up in a double tight set. He drops back. Across the middle. And they make the stop. UCLA takes a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. UNLV lines up with five defensive backs. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. Setting up the play action. Rolls right. Over the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So another third down upcoming for the offense. UNLV brings in the nickel here. Back to pass. Steps up, looking. Over the middle. It's deflected. It falls incomplete. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Four and ten. Ball the 
Rebel line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Incomplete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll set up shot at the 47. Little handoff, and he's stopped behind the line. UCLA calls a timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Three wideouts to the right side. Up the middle of the fullback. Tackle. UCLA takes a timeout. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 49. The Bruins bring in their dime package. Straight ahead with the fullback. He's got an opening. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down. How about that conversion on third down? You got to give credit to the offensive line. Good push by the guys up front. They're really working hard down in the trenches. Let me tell you, the biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard. I mean real hard right now. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. UNLV is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And he'll just kneel it here. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, any final thoughts here? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. UCLA had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. And we That's thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, UNLV 17, UCLA 16. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.